God gave me this platform, I already know I'm going to win. China did our vote. Biden and Harris would say, hey, we're here to protect the country and resign. Mike Lindell's a conspiracy. But you haven't. Just forget about the evidence. This was attacked. It appears that my pillow CEO, Mike Lindell, is a little angry at Geraldo Rivera of all people, and it's over crack pipes. Take a look. And then Geraldo, what a, he's got to have his head examined. That guy, there's something wrong with him. He went on Fox. No, I never watch Fox, everybody. They put it, it came, it was such a, it was such the most stupid thing ever to come out of Geraldo's mouth in history. Oh, he's probably had more. I, I would vote there's other, there been others. But it, what, Sean Hannity and, and uh, Dan were on there and they're questioning him. They go, can you believe these crack pipes are gonna give out to the addicts? And, and Geraldo goes, well, you know, they're people too. They're, or they're ma their lives matter too. And really, Geraldo? You gotta be kidding me. They're, of course their lives matter, you idiot. I mean, this guy is, I mean, where's his brain? It's like he's on there. This is our journalist nowadays. He's on there to talk about something. They should ban him from even being in this country for talking that stupid, for addicts getting getting their paraphernalia and Geraldo thinks it's okay. I mean, that, it's unbelievable. I, I still, that bugged me. I had, to, I had to get that out, Liz. No, I mean, you, <laughs> you're on a roll today. Oh yeah, you're on some kind of roll anyway. <laughs> no, okay, so first point, um, I don't know what's going on with Geraldo, but he's actually made some good points recently. It's super weird. It's super strange. In fact, look, um, maybe it's the fact that because the right wing has gone so insane, you now have regular conservatives like Geraldo that don't seem as terrible anymore. Goddamn Overton window. Stop moving to the right. Stop moving. <laughs> But, okay, let's get to the substance here, okay? Because, for one, nobody knows crack quite like Mike Lindell. And, and I'm, not see, I'm not even saying that as a, as a pejorative, as a way to, you know, kind of stick it in his eye. Uh, no, he was a former crack addict, and now, I stress, alleged former crack addict. So, uh, I think that the drug scrambled his brain. And so, actually... I kind of understand why Mike Lindell would be so angry. And and he was, he was, he seemed very legitimately angry there. And so, okay. Uh, now, the problem, of course, is that the entire thing that he's ranting about is fake news. L literal fake news. Look, here's the thing. He's claiming, and, and, and this is the, the narrative that's come from the right wing. They're saying that the Biden administration is giving away crack pipes. No, no, they're not. <laughs> uh, by the way, this is an administration who will not remove marijuana, cannabis, from the Schedule 1 drug list. Do you think, do you think that this administration who won't remove a drug that is legal for recreational use in 19 different states and the territory of Guam, okay, you think that they... It, you know, the, the administration that won't even get that off the Schedule 1, which is the most dangerous, by the way. Schedule 1 says this is absolutely no medicinal or any sort of value, and it's incredibly dangerous. You think they'd be handing out crack pipes? What? That doesn't make any sense. And by the way, for legalizing cannabis, that would be a layup for the Biden administration. God knows their polls need it badly he is not doing well especially among younger americans and and look by the way cannabis is so the the use is so now i should i should say normalized and popular within uh you know uh, the american people that it would be a massive benefit to his polls if he were to you know deschedule or or, or or take it off the schedule list or uh you know legalize it rec uh, recreationally or even medicinally on a national level, on a federal level. But he didn't. You think that guy would give away free crack pipes? No, if you believe that, you're probably on drugs. 
Or, of course, you've been consuming too much Fox News. It has the same effect on your brain, I'm assuming. But in reality, of course, here's what the administration is doing. Here's what Biden is doing. Um, they want to distribute about $30 million in funds to community-based harm reduction programs. Now, according to the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration, providing health and social services for active drug users, harm reduction programs can actually reduce overdoses, HIV transmission, and other negative health come, uh, outcomes, as well as death. Now, in the long term, that, of course, reduces costs from incarceration. Less drug users gets people off the streets, gets people you know, away from crime. Uh, and, of course, if you help them get off the drugs, it reduces addiction, obviously. And so, okay, now, I think a lot of people fall into drugs because of bad socioeconomic conditions, those diseases of despair. Uh, and, of course, you have self-medication from lack of mental health care and being able to afford prescription drugs. For example, and, and I mean prescription drugs like things like, I don't know, um, antidepressants, uh, things like, uh, you know, uh, depression. Uh, well, I just said depression, anxiety, things like that. Some people will choose to self-medicate or, or not even be able to get in to be diagnosed with things like bipolar, for example. And so some might choose instead to self-medicate or they get into a situation where they end up self-medicating or again, just from the terrible socioeconomic conditions. And so that stuff happens, right? Now, if you address those things, those issues, there's a good chance that you're gonna get some of the people off the streets and you're gonna get some of those people off the drugs. But until that happens, you could at least do what you can to save their lives. And that's what this kit's for, okay? So now, of course, the right wing is keyed in on this uh, and they're saying that the fact that some of the money from the grant program is going to supplies. And so what do they think of? Crack pipes. Now, in reality, yes, there are some supplies like sterile syringes and what are called safe smoking kits. Now, I don't think there's any way to smoke safely, but I guess there's a way to, if you're gonna smoke, do it a little safer. And that's what this is about. So now these safe smoking kits, also called safer smoking kits, are designed to reduce health risks associated with drug use. Because of open wounds and sores, they increase the risk of disease transmission. And so the kits actually uh, contain first aid materials. And so that's according to the North Carolina Harm Reduction Coalition, a grassroots advocacy organization. Now they also sometimes, and I'm not saying this is from the Biden administration. However, there is uh, um, some of these kits include glass pipe stems and mouthpieces to prevent uh, to prevent health issues associated with the make uh, with makeshift smoking devices. This is according to Harm Reduction International, a NGO in the UK. Now, the Biden administration's kits don't have any of that stuff in them at all. Uh, but again, this is a way to try to reduce the risk of death by addicts. And again, if you quit these drugs cold turkey, I, I wouldn't exactly recommend that because of how bad the withdrawals can actually be and how dangerous that is. And so I think there needs to be like a weaning off period uh, for some of the harder drugs. But furthermore, um, back to the program here. So now the program, uh, the grant proposal actually also, along with the kits, lists eight different things that the grantees must complete, the, the organizations that get the grants. Among them, they have to refer drug users to treatment programs. They have to distribute overdose reversal medication to keep them alive and to educate users on the ways to reduce negative health outcomes of drug use. Grant recipients must provide information about their activities so the government can determine whether or not the program is actually effective at getting people off drugs and reducing overdose deaths. So that includes data on every supply purchased and the number of individuals, very important, referred to treatment centers. All right, so now officials again stress that 
distributing or funding crack pipes is not part of the program and was never part of the plan at all. So now look, the reason I'm going through the details here is because you have to go and, and, and understand that there are a lot of people that are, uh, that could be just, you know, justly outraged this. Oh, I can't believe my tax money is going to giving people drugs or uh, crack pipes. Well, again, that's not entirely true. But again, I can understand the anger, the outrage for it, especially for somebody who, in the case of Lindell, and I'm being incredibly charitable here, um, had been through that. And so obviously, that's going to be a, a, a bit of a sore spot for him. So I get the rage. Now, that said, this is made up. This is weaponized outrage created by the right wing, spread by right wing outlets. If you actually want to solve the drug problem, then guess what? There are things that conservatives could actually advocate for. Number one, you end the drug war. You disempower the drug cartels immediately. The Portugal model comes to mind. Uh, secondly, and this is important too, and you don't see a lot of this. You'll never see this from Republicans. Go after Big Pharma. And, and by the way, I mean Republican politicians. They're actually Republicans, normal voters, that are like, yeah, stick it to Pharma. Big Pharma, yes, they're ripping us off. Totally agree. But again, remember the opioid epidemic, right? Now, that wasn't caused by the Mexican cartels. That wasn't the drugs flowing over the border. Those are drugs that were made here. Okay, this was caused by big corporations like Purdue Pharma that lied to people in order to make a buck. That's actual criticism of big pharma. But no, what you see conservative politicians and media figures focus on is, oh, vaccine bad. Instead of, of course, rightly looking at the profit motives for other drugs, how they jack up prices on prescription drugs, have they been doing it a lot? and even lied to people about how certain pain medications are less addictive than that they actually are, okay? This is all manufactured bullshit outrage that's spurred by fake news from bad faith actors. That's all it is. You know who spread this claim about the crack pipes? This was a, this was a Washington uh, Free Beacon article that cited, get this, they cited an anonymous spokesperson, allegedly from HHS. It's an anonymous spokesperson. Well then, so basically, what are you writing this about? If it's some anonymous rando, well then you can't take their word for it. <laughs> now, of course, what happened when this article got out? No, you had Marco Rubio that picked it up, Senator Ted Cruz that picked it up, you had other Republican congressmen, um, and then of course you had influencers like Dinesh D'Souza. And now it is filtered down to Mike Pillow. And so understand where this comes from and what it's really about. They're not giving out crack pipes. They're actually trying to address a real issue here, which is addiction. And apparently... Uh, apparently you can't do that. You can't do anything about addiction. Uh, you just have to let them die in the streets.